Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are just going to take a quick look at what you get in the new Sorcery Contested Realm Draft Kit. I went ahead and picked up two, mainly because I kind of felt like the shipping just made more sense if you buy two. You're going to get a rules card. And you are going to get four spell slingers. You're going to get 12 of every ordinary land in the kit. So that's 12 spires. You're going to have 12 valleys, 12 wastelands, and 12 streams. One thing, and this has been common with, I think, all the deck boxes I've gotten from Sorcery. I have to trim this just a little bit right here. You can kind of see. I'll, I'll show you what I did. If you don't want to destroy your deck box, I'll come in here with like a nail clipper and just clip right there. And it'll take off just enough. When you open it, it has a smooth open. It doesn't like tear and rip. I've done that with my alpha pre-cons. I've done it with my beta pre-cons because I really wanted to preserve the box. And I know some people will say, you know, from a collector's standpoint, oh, you know, you're cutting the cardboard, you're modifying the box. And I hear you, and I am. But the alternative is that you don't cut it. You have this risk that you totally tear it and rip it just one time that you open it. That's all it takes. You could tear it and rip it. And what's worse, a rip or just like a nice clean cut that kind of preserves the box and keeps it around for uh, a, maybe a decent longevity that it maybe couldn't have had I not just trimmed those edges. You may want to consider that. Just know, hey, you are modifying the box and that's your decision. Let's take a look at this artwork and these mechanics. So all four of the cards of the same mechanic, it's going to say your atlas may include any number of that particular site. So in this case, it's a valley. So any number of valleys, you will see that on every one of these. So you don't have any crazy powerful Genesis ability or anything that I would consider like might be overpowered like we've seen in other ordinary sites in the past. This is the Spell Slinger. Start the game with four spells in hand or you could tap to play or draw a site. They did also come out with a uh, foil version that I happen to have of the Spell Slinger. I think they do actually have foil versions of all these lands, but this was a foil Spell Slinger promo that they gave away at uh, one of the recent cons. They probably gave it away maybe at more than one con. I was able to get my hands on one of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They do not come in this kit. Don't confuse that. I just wanted to show that there's another printing of this card. Another interesting thing, all of these cards have the copyright symbol, okay? Every single one of these. They chose to not go with a set symbol um, like we've seen in the past what they do for sets. Now, part of me gets that because this actually is not a set. This is a standalone product in its own sealed box. It released separately from Arthurian Legends. It didn't release with Beta. So it's kind of had its own release date. So I, I kind of get, you know, all things considered, this is its own product. I kind of feel, I, I hesitate to say this, but I kind of feel like I would have liked a main set symbol attached to these cards and have the release of it could be, if you want, you could have it, you know, before the, the set release, if you, if you didn't want to have to change that aspect of it um, but have it sort of tied so like if this is supposed to be sort of an Arthurian legends draft kit then you know having the Arthurian legends set symbol there would have been nice just to kind of preserve the usage of that copyright symbol to be a little bit more uh, specialized for promos you know the sample cards have a, a copyright symbol I'm not saying that in that case, if they used an Arthurian Legends symbol, that this would only be a draft meant for Arthurian Legends. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you tie it to that product, then when you release it, it's kind of like, hey, maybe every set release, we're going to have a different draft kit that was designed around how the game is evolving. And of course, you could play that draft kit with cards from any set. You could play this draft kit with Beta, with Alpha, with Arthurian Legends, it's fine. I'm not saying it would it would like pigeonhole it to that, 
but it would just be a nice way to timestamp these in in history because you would look at this you know 10 years from now you'd look at the symbol and you would see Arthurian legends and you would know oh yeah that came out around the time of Arthurian legends so we kind of tie it to that design space um, at that stage of the game uh, but they don't have a kit for beta that or, or alpha so maybe the thought behind this was not labeling it for Arthurian legends simply so that way it could kind of be like let's play a catch-up you know, this is good for Beta, Alpha, and Arthurian Legends kind of all at one time. And again, I'm not saying that any other kit wouldn't be good for a particular set. It's just, you know, we see how these things work in Magic. You can mix and match any card from any set. It's fine. Different formats may restrict you based on power levels and certain mechanics or whatever. But if you're playing Kitchen Table, uh, which is, that's the type of game that Sorcery is, no one's going to tell you you can't play a historic card with a modern card as long as that's the format you guys are agreeing to play with. So I'm not saying that by tying future draft kits to sets that you couldn't play them with any set. I'm just saying it would be kind of cool um, if we, you know, if you consider this one sort of like we played catch up, we've got a draft kit out there, but now going forward, let's do a draft kit paired with every set going forward. That would be kind of cool. Then the next question that comes to mind is, Let's make sure that whatever we put in the draft kit is not in the core set. So that way you don't get all this duplication of, you know, I've got a ton of valleys here in the draft kit. And now, you know, I'm, I'm and they're in ordinary. So you're going to get a lot of them if you open a booster box. So, you know, for collectors and everybody else or folks that aren't even playing draft that just don't want to open a lot of boxes they're going to have a ton of these cards. Then it's like, why even buy this kit unless you are only specifically doing it for draft, which I get. That's what it's for. That's what it is made for. But for folks that open up enough boxes, you could just pull your cards together and just build this kit out of what you opened out of the boxes and just bring the kit with you that you crafted yourself because you opened a few boxes. Again, they're ordinaries. So if these are in the boxes, you're just going to get a ton of them. All that to say, I hope that this is the only way you can get these particular cards. And if that's the case, that does make this uh, a little bit more special because it is not going to be part of the core set. Now, you could have an exception with maybe the Spell Slinger because maybe they want to do a box topper and put the Spell Slinger in it. I don't know. Maybe they'll just do the Sorcerer again. Maybe they'll come up with a whole different one. Make it foil, you know, maybe the back is different. So like this has the full art back, this promo. Maybe they they do the box topper without, you know, something to make it different. Obviously the box topper probably would have a Arthurian Legend set symbol instead of a copyright. That would be okay, but I, I would hope that we don't see these in Arthurian Legends uh, boxes. Otherwise, you know, again, you start to devalue this even further. And I'm not just talking financially. I mean, even functionally, like even what's the point of even buying it? Cause you open a few boxes, you'll get this many cards anyway, just bring them with you to the draft. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. At the end of the day, it's the first draft kit out there. And even as a collector, although I don't play draft in particular, I wanted to grab a couple, I'll keep one sealed. I've got an open one here because I am that completionist. And in the event that these cards do not come in the main set, I do need to have a copy of each one. I Just who I am. I've been doing this since Alpha, backed for the Kickstarter. So I've got a complete Alpha non-foil set, complete Beta non-foil set. I'm working on my complete Beta foil set. I'm that far along. So a $15 product like this, uh, it's just a no-brainer. I'm going to throw it in because I just want to have it in the collection, even though I don't do draft. Hats off to the artists. You guys all did amazing on every one of these. And looking forward to seeing Arthurian Legends come out. That's all I've got for this one, everybody. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the draft kit and stick around. I'm probably going to do at least one or two videos for Arthurian Legends coming up here pretty soon. So subscribe if you're not already, if you don't want to miss that content. Take it easy. Peace.